Well, good morning. Welcome to our morning devotional time. What happens when demons confront Jesus? I'd like to read Mark chapter 1, verse 21 to 28. Let me read it through rather quickly. Then they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught, and they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Now there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had convulsed him and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. Then they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? What new doctrine is, is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And immediately his fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee. So there's our story. Jesus goes into the synagogue. The demons confront Jesus in the synagogue. Demons have had opportunities, but now here's Jesus in their midst, and, and things are changing very much. God has authority over people. God has authority over demons. Jesus can command these demons and stop them from uh, calling out. And you know that their intention is to disrupt the ministry of Jesus. They're trying to distract people and disrupt. And that's what the devils are trying to do today. Look at how disruptive our world is. They say that we now have the average attention span is seven or eight seconds, like, you know, a second less than a goldfish's attention span. How wonderful we are. You know what? We can combat that. How? We can combat it by reading the Bible, by being able, by letting God help us focus on things and focus our attention. And I don't believe it was God's plan that we would have an eight second long attention span. So God can build that up for us. And the devils are trying to distract us every which way, but we need to be very careful and come straight on toward the Lord Jesus. And we'll be fine, but let's be careful about the many distractions out there. So what are we looking at with, with this? Well, here comes a demon. He, he, he's forced to come out. When Jesus commands the demons to come out, they cannot resist. He has authority to call them out. We want to be right with God, and we want to have him exercising that authority in our experience. And so then the word goes out across the nation. Jesus' fame increases, not that he's seeking fame, but he, it's important that people come to know that the Messiah is there. It's a good thing that the Lord who we serve has that extraordinary kind of authority. So let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you have all authority. Lord, we want to be right with you, and we want you to be able to use that authority to our help and blessing. And boy, do we need a lot of help and a lot of blessing, as we are having some serious challenges, different ones in our experience. So Lord, please be that, be that one with that much authority, and then help us to be available to you and so committed to you that in, that in the covenant between you and us as believers, you can exercise that authority to deliver us from many of the tremendous challenges and difficulties we are facing. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, he has all that authority. What has it meant to you in your life that God has that kind of authority? Why don't you put a little comment in the bottom here and share that so that we can all be edified and hear what mighty things God it has done as and would be wanting to do for you. God be with you.